Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can click into the text in a bounding box to apply text effects to the bounding box. When you click into a text box with one of the type tools, you'll see the bounding box appear, assuming of course it isn't point type text. You can move your mouse pointer over one of the small square handles in the bounding box until you see your mouse pointer turn into a small double pointed arrow. Then you can just click and drag to resize the bounding box. Now if you hold down the shift key while you're doing this, you'll resize the bounding box without warping its proportions. To rotate the bounding box, roll your mouse pointer outside of the bounding border by one of the corner square handles until you see your mouse pointer turn into a small bent double pointing arrow. Then just click and drag to rotate the bounding box. Now if you hold down the shift key while you're doing this, you will restrict the rotation to 15 degree angles. See it jump in there like that. You can even change the location of the center point around which the text will rotate. To do this, click the control key on your keyboard, then click and drag that small circle that's in the center of the bounding box to a new location. Then when you go to rotate, it'll rotate around that new center rotation that you created. Now you can even click and drag that rotation point outside of the border of the bounding box if necessary to create the effect you desire. If you want to skew the bounding box, which gives your text a slanted appearance, hold down the control key on your keyboard and then click and drag on one of the small squares at the top, bottom, left or right sides of the bounding box to skew the text. like that so you can skew it however you like. Now you can even perform this action on point text if you want. Now also note that if you hold down the control key and then click and drag using one of the corner squares you'll scale the text to fit the new bounding box shape. So we'll go ahead and fix the skew so we can really see what's going on here. So if we hold down the control key and then skew this it will change the text to actually fit the bounding box. Now this also works with point type text as well. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.